What's up YouTube, this is PZSian here. Today I am going to be doing a bit of a Zippo video for you guys today. Um, it's been quite a while since I've done anything sort of related to Zippos, so figure to be appropriate. Uh, what we're going to be talking about today is we're going to be talking about matte Zippos. Um, specifically, how do they fare with being used? How do they fare when, with, when being carried and EDC'd? Um, I don't really carry my Mad Zippos that much. My main user right now is my arm brass armor, uh, but you know I do. You know the, I have some secondary EDC Zippos, specifically this one and this one. They're just ones that I'll carry. You know, if if I just want to, you know, if I'm maybe just want to take a break from carrying around the brass one for whatever reason, uh, I'll typically go for either this one or this one. Um, so this one has seen quite a bit of use. This one being pretty much brand new. I've got I got it maybe a month ago. Um, you know, it, yeah, it's kind of a, a maybe been used for literally probably about two weeks total, you know, of carry time. Um, so, yeah, that's, again, that's like total. So, let's go ahead and let's get into it. So, what I've got right here is I've got a, um, I've got my Matsi 8 Ball. All right. This is a um, very, very nice airbrush design from a, um, from obviously Matsi, who is an airbrush artist. <laughs> so, if we go ahead and take a look at the back here, this is what you can expect a brand new uh, matte Zippo to look like. Here's the sides. All right. Now you'll see, and really do take note, you'll see some uh, shiny bits, some slightly shiny bits. Um, you know, this is uh, pretty much the best I can do. This Zippo is literally, I've never put this in my pocket. I, I, I think I might have set it down on a table, you know, just by itself once or twice, but pretty much this thing has lived inside of its box since the day I got it. Um, it's, been in the, it's been in my Zippo display uh, for a long time now, so uh, yeah, I rarely ever, uh, you know, play with it, but obviously all my Zippos that I get, I do sort of play with, uh, you know, when they're brand new, but anyways, that's irrelevant. So, yeah, obviously there is the... Um, there's that. Note the consistency, all right? Note how flat it is. You see that? Note how diffused my lamp is right there, okay? Um, sure, you know, just to give you guys a reference of what that would look like on a completely glossy Zippo, you know, that right there. I have a lamp right there. So, take note again of how uh, diffused that is. So, you know, there you go. Um, so, yeah, like I say, this is for reference of the brand new let's one. Let's go ahead. Let's put this back. And um, now I want to go ahead and I want to show you one. Let's go ahead and jump to the uh, complete other end of the spectrum and show you one that is very well used. Uh, you will immediately notice, in fact, let's just have this one. Let's just have these two side by side. You will immediately notice uh, that this one is a bit more reflective than this one. See that? So, check that out. Okay, let me actually wipe this off real quickly, just because... Oh, uh, there we go. That actually did make a bit of a difference. Um, so, again, in that fact, I'll actually wipe this one off, too. <laughs> just, for the, just for the sake of argument. Um, oh, yeah, that, yeah, again, that did make an effect. But you'll still see that there is a, quite a bit of a difference here. This is obviously reflecting the light from my lamp a lot better than this one is, because uh, this one's more of a flat black. All right, here is, you know, the other side. Again, let me wipe that off. Boom. <clears throat> okay, here's this side. Here's the sides. Not too dramatic. A little bit, you know, a little bit shiny. Just a little bit. There's a good little scratch-looking mark right there. This one even has a scratch, but, you know, again, uh, we'll get onto that. So here's the top. Again, take note. Pretty, uh, you know, big, you know, this is obviously a little wider. The little, um, the, I guess you could say the glare is a little brighter than it is on this one, a little bit wider. Uh, this side, there's a pretty good difference there. Obviously, we've got a little bit of a very shiny spot right there. A little bit of a chip here, and the reason why that chip is there is because I used this Zippo, um, I used the case of this Zippo to uh, unscrew the flint screw. You know, you can do the fat, you know, the little trick you can do with the lid as a screw, use the lid of your Zippo, uh, you know, as a screwdriver for uh, Zippo flint lids. I did that with this, and uh, as a result of that, 
scratched, uh, took off some of the paint. So I don't like to do that anymore, uh, especially if the Zippo is matte. And uh, here is uh, the bottom. Now, for some reason, the fit the bottom stamp finishes are different. I don't that that doesn't that's irrelevant. Okay, they look the same as they did when they're brand new. That's completely irrelevant. So, there we go. That is uh, that's it for that. So I do want to go ahead and I want to get a little bit more macro in just in case the whole deal with YouTube encoding and post production processing or whatever, um, basically the exporting and then the uh, encoding from YouTube uh, causes this to be harder to see. Okay. So, as you can see, it's kind of, uh, let me see about this side. Um, the wear is, um, in this case particularly, actually, I don't know why this isn't showing up very well. Um, why isn't it showing up as good as I want it to? But you'll see that it's actually happening sort of in spots. Now, I guess just due to the way that, you know, the color of the Zippo in particular, it actually kind of looks like it might actually, it's literally bumpy. Like, to me on the camera, what I'm seeing in the viewfinder looks like a bumpy textured Zippo. Um, but that's actually not what's going on here. Uh, those little things that look like bumps are actually literally shiny spots, okay? It doesn't, it occurs evenly. It's actually very consistent wear, as you can see. But it happens in this bizarre sort of stippled, um, pattern. I really just, I, I don't know why. <laughs> um, so, yeah, um, there you go. Let's see this side. So I think it's just due to the, the way that, you know, the coloring of the Zippo. Now, now here we have my, uh, my matte blueberry Zippo. Now the thing with this one, I've only filled this Zippo once, but this is also my third Zippo, and it was also pretty much the only Zippo that not I not only owned, but it was also pretty much the only, you know, blue Zippo that I've ever seen. So this one was kind of unique to me, and this one did get a lot of handling, okay? I did play with this one quite a bit before I was able to fill Zippos. You know, I obviously I got this one back when I was 17, um, and, you know, I only had, th I, you know, this is, you know, I, I, my collection consisted of three Zippos, and again, this being my third Zippo, uh, my, zip, my collection consisted of three Zippos for pretty much almost an entire year, so, you know, this one did see quite a bit of attention. Um, so as a result of that, it too has taken on that sort of shiny effect, okay? Um, as you can see, uh, the whole Zippo, if you look right here, you know, it used to be that sort of flat, non-reflective blue color, but now it's all a little bit shiny, and I don't really know why, but that's where the price sticker was. I don't know why that's still very distinguishable. That's kind of odd. Um, again, here's actually a better example. You see how that still looks sort of flat? The whole Zippo used to look like that. Let me go ahead and wipe it off on my pants, just to uh, for sake of argument. So, yeah, let's get this side. And bam, so we get a close-up on this one. Alright, so now we're zoomed in on this one. You can It's actually a little bit easier, in my opinion, to see on uh, this Zippo. Uh, you can kind of see, you see how that, how it's sort of shiny in spots. Again, it's very consistent. I mean, you know, there are a few areas that ha don't really have this effect going on at all yet, but, you know, for the most part, it's very, cons you know, it, uh, being random, it is still very consistent for, you know, it being random, so, yeah. Here are the sides. Again, they've got a few scratches up there. I noticed in my previous take of this video, it looks like I actually dropped it at one point. We've got a little bit of exposed, um brass right there. So, there's that. This is not a brass insert, by the way. It just looks brass because of the way that this blue color is affecting the camera white balance. So, yeah, there you go. Like I say, this one's mostly just been handled a lot. Like I say, I did fill it once. Uh, you can see the wick is only slightly charred. So, it didn't really get lit a whole lot. So, yeah, there we go. There's where that price sticker so used yeah, to be. So yeah, here's, by the way, the uh, the inside of this. You know, some of the paint gets inside of there, so in case you're curious. So anyways, uh, that is it for uh, the blueberry mat. Now, I've got one more for you. All right.
This Zippo is the Iron Stone Zippo, all right? This is the uh the next Walmart um special, I guess. The uh you know, this is, you know, Walmart had the uh or they still do have, but you know, they originally only had the satin chrome. Now they have both satin chrome and iron stone. Uh I got this one as soon as I saw it at Walmart, I bought this. And uh yeah, so you know, being the fact that this is so brand new and, you know, the fact that I do, you know, use treat this one a lot like this one, I use it occasionally, this has probably only seen about two weeks total of use from me, okay, of carrying around, of actually being in my pocket with all my, with all my stuff. And this, I didn't actually really see this, I didn't, I really did not foresee this being, a th you know, actually happening with this one, but this is actually a very, it's pretty much identical in terms of finish and texture, um, to that of a matte Zippo. So there you go. Like I say, the you know if you've seen Carly Lover's video, he's not kidding when these feel different. When he said that these feel different from Black Crackle because they feel exactly like a regular matte Zippo. But already, as you can see, I have that effect going on. See that? All ready. Going on. I really like the way this Zippo looks. It still trips me out every time I pick it up because it looks like it's rough as heck, but it's smooth as crap. It's like literally smooth as friggin' glass. Not that's a, that's uh, well, yeah. It in comparison to what it looks it, like it should, in comparison to what you would expect it to feel like, um, it's smooth as glass. So, anyways, again, here is your close up. It'll be a little bit harder to see on this one, but it's actually not that bad. You can kind of see again how it's kind of happening in spots, but it's consistent. You see that? For the most part. You know, where it is happening is very consistent. So, it's kind of like it gradients out into sort of, you know, being shiny and then not being shiny. It's kind of weird. See that? So, down here. Literally, if you uh, if you take a picture of this Zippo and look at it really up close, I think all this is is a black matte Zippo with white spots all over it. I don't actually think there's any. Uh, I think this is literally just white and black, black and white. No um, like shade, no, no like grays are in there in there or anything. It's literally just very densely speckled white and black. So that's kind of cool, actually. I noticed this when I did my video on this one because when I took a when I was doing the uh, little end transitions when I have pictures, um, being that this camera is a 12 megapixel camera, I really picked up on that, and they literally just look like white and black, black and white spots all over the place. So, like, no other shades, and I was even an outside picture, so I'm kind of confident that that's what they actually did here, and it's kind of neat. So, anyways, something else uh, specifically I wanted to touch on about this Zippo. See the inside of the lid there? That, in my opinion, that that completes the effect of this being stone-like, okay? You see that, how the uh, they even continued the speckle design on the inside of the lid? What that means is that when you're looking at it, you know, when you're looking at it like this, it kind of has the appearance of the whole thing being, you know, uh, a stone, of uh, being a stone. I mean, we know it's not, but it just, by appearance, it kind of looks like that, you know what I mean? So, that, crap, are you serious? I dropped this in my last take, too. Good gosh, except it wasn't like that. I better check to see if there's any paint missing, because I want to point that out if that's the case. Um, because, you know, this is, after all, how does this hand, how does this hold up to being used? That was the second time I dropped it, like I say, like ever, and, you know, the first time I dropped it was in the last take of the stupid video. Um, but I, what I was getting at here is that, the, uh, the, how the finish continues on the inside of the lid. But when I got this Zippo new, I had a problem with it. The lid was a little bit off-centered. It was a little bit skewed to one side. So as a result, it was really rubbing against the chimney, and I could feel it rubbing against the chimney, like, significantly. I could really feel it. And it was really worry worrying me because I didn't want to scratch that finish. So what I actually did was I took the chimney and actually pinched it together like that making it more of a wedge shape. Uh, you do want to leave this bit here, the little slot on the back here, though, if you were to do this. You do want to make sure that stays open, uh, because uh, if that does get closed, the, the flame kind of struggles a little bit. I don't, it, you know, the flame will kind of, it appears to struggle a little bit, um, you know, more than I'd like when it's lit and such. So, yeah, but that's all I did, and that took care of that. So...
very, very neat. Very, very neat indeed. Uh, but because, you know, obviously I wanted to make sure I preserved that, uh, uh, that actually is also the case um, in the uh, on the inside of the body. But I'm not so concerned about that because that's not always going to be noticeable. You know, right now it looks kind of cool. But obviously that little lump right there going in and out of that, it's obviously going to do a number to that finish. So that'll be okay. I'm not so concerned about that. I'm just really concerned about keeping that lid um, finish preserved. So I just like that. But obviously with use that will go away eventually. But hopefully it won't go away as quickly with my uh, little thing I did there. So again, here's the sides, you know, just meh. So there you go, that is, uh, that's going to do it for this video. So if you're looking to get a matte Zippo, or even one of these ones from Walmart, um, because they're the same. You know, they're, li they're literally the, the same, you know, this is literally the same finish as, uh, or the same, I guess, coating, the same type of coating that's on all these other ones. It's just two-tone in this case, and as, as opposed to being a solid color. Um, so, you know, if anything, you know, you might have already, you know, you might have already expected for uh, your lighter to maybe get shiny like this, maybe, you know, you could have already expected this, but now you know that this will have the same effect. So, I don't know, I just, I figured it'd be a good idea to make a video about this. I did make that video on the uh, sort of high-polished chrome versus high-polished brass, you know, new and used, um, where I showed a brand new high-polished chrome and then a very well used high-polished chrome, and, you know, the same thing with the brass, and then kind of compared the two together. You know, I figured it might, you know, it might be a nice idea to go ahead and maybe make a video about matte Zippos after they've been used for a while. So, that is going to do it for this video, guys. Um, thank you for watching, and uh, if you can, leave a comment. Uh, if you can't, then, I don't know. <laughs> um, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> um, just send me a message, or just the, that. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, at least you can, at least you contributed to the view count number. So, um, yeah, I, I know it kind of sucks for you guys. Um, but anyway, it's the whole Google Plus thing. But guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. Thanks for watching and adios.